Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki. So, I had a pretty cool video planned for today. Well, pretty cool as in being the next um, Road to Completion Escape. So, maybe not that cool. Pretty cool for me. But, uh, I just kind of feel like crap today. So, I decided to, um, you know, just make a simple vlog instead. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I do have the next two days off from work. So, I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to make videos. But, yeah, today I did work quite a long time. So, I'm tired. And, uh, yeah, in real life issues and stuff like that. So, um, not really in the best mood to make a really involved video today. So, I just decided to make a vlog. Um, and if you can tell through all the lag, what I'm doing right now is the King Black Dragon. And it's my Slayer task. It gives about 1k XP per kill. It's not amazing XP. It's about 64,000 Slayer XP per hour. So, it's not the best. You might think 64,000 XP per hour is a lot. But with Drygores, a lot of tasks are 100k XP an hour or more. So it's not really the best XP per hour, but there's a couple reasons I'm doing KBD. For one, it's pretty good money. It's between 1.5 and 2 mil an hour, depending on what you get with drops. For two, it's fairly good crimsons. Um, you get about 150 crimsons an hour doing this. And for three, I do care about charms. I just I'm incredibly OCD, and I love collecting charms, and I love seeing my charm collection grow to large amounts. I have over 10,000 crimsons now, so I'm pretty excited about that. But, yeah, I'm just, I like collecting charms because I'm weird like that. But anyway, um, I like that aspect about the KBD. Um, it's also fun, which uh, doesn't happen that much with Slayer. I enjoy Slayer as a whole, but there's no tasks that I do, and I'm like, yeah, I'm having so much fun. Not really. But um, anyway, it's also, uh, I really want to get a drop from KBD because it's one of the few drops bosses that I've never had a drop from. I've never had a drop from Virago, Calphite King, uh, KBD or Calphite Queen and I think that's all the bosses that I have not had to drop from and also the Ascension bosses if you even count them as bosses but I've had to drop from every other boss in the game and I really want to get one from KBD just because I've never had one so that'd be either the Dragon Rider boots or the Dragon Rider gloves um, so every task in the future that I get of Black Dragons I'm going to do KBD unless I'm feeling really incredibly lazy or I don't know, maybe I already have a drop from KBD and I want to get slightly better XP killing the regular Black Dragons. I'm not sure, but it is fairly good money and fairly good charms here, so it's not a complete waste of time. It's just not the best Slayer XP. Um, also, there are quite a few worlds that are packed at the KBD. As you can see, I'm doing the quick hopping method. Um, this is great if you have Dragors. If, you really, if you're a lower level, a lot of the people that do this boss are lower levels and really struggle to kill the Q KBD. I wouldn't recommend quick hopping because um, if you're really low defense, you can take away a couple thousand life points before you can do anything after you quick hop. But if you're dry goring, obviously soul split and turmoil heal all that back, so it's not really a problem. You don't really need food here. Every once in a while, the KBD gets lucky and hits a couple 700s with his fire. He can hit like up to 800 or 900 even through your anti fire, so your anti fire doesn't protect you 100%. Um, but yeah, he can hit fairly decently high on you. Um, this isn't really a guide or anything for the KBD. I guess I'm just kind of telling you guys exactly how I do it. In case you're ever interested on do in doing the KBD yourself as a Slayer task, which I would highly recommend just because it's pretty fun and you can make some money as well. Um, I believe the Dragon Bones are about uh, 3.7k each last time I checked, which was like two days ago. So they very well might have gone down a little bit since then, but they're still very good money. And the Black Dragon Hides are around 4.5k each. So um, you get quite a bit just per kill. And then also the KBD has a 65-ish percent drop rate of Crimsons. So he drops Crimsons over half the time. And when he drops Crimsons, he drops them in fours. So he drops a lot of Crimsons every time he drops Crimsons. So um, that's really good. That's why. That's the reason why it's so good for charms. Um, and I don't. I'm not sure how many more kills I have, but 17 more KBDs. So I am gonna have to bank. Really sucks. My yak is about to die. Um, I'm gonna try to quickly bank these black dragon hide and bones, and then I'll get a new yak out of the bank. But um, you get uh, 57 kills per hour doing the way I'm doing. I have extensively tested it, just like I extensively test every Slayer task these days, because um, my kind of little objective thing is to get the exact Slayer XP rates for every single task in the game, and I'm making a Google spreadsheet of it, of all the uh, XP information on every task in the game and a whole bunch of other fun stuff XP related. 
So once I've finished that, I'm going to make a video and then give you guys the link to that in the description. And then you, if uh, anyone out there who wants to train Slayer, um, it's specifically geared for players that are maxed. But um, if you ever want to train Slayer, uh, either getting to 99 or if you're already maxed, I'm going to have a really extremely awesome, helpful spreadsheet that will tell you all the information you need to know about XP. I didn't want to really give you a sneak peek of my Slayer tab, but I will give you a sneak peek of the spreadsheet thing I'm making. So um, this is just on Google Documents, and I can't record the whole thing because just of the way the record my the way uh, my recorder is set up at the moment. But I've done um, 12 tasks so far, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm sorry you can't see the whole screen at the moment just because of the way I'm recording. But anyway, that's pretty much what I'm doing, and I believe Curdle assigns like 40 different tasks or 50 different tasks somewhere in that range. Uh, but I'm going to get the information for every single one of those tasks, and that's going to take quite a while. But uh, as soon as I'm done with that, that will be awesome, and I'll be able to uh, share a whole bunch of information with you guys who are really interested in um, efficiency, or if you're interested in uh, what tasks are the best summoning XP in the game, for example, if you want charms, or if you're interested in what tasks are the best melee XP in the game, if you want melee XP. I will tell you guys something really cool that I have found out. Water fiends are actually not the best summoning XP in the game for a slayer task. I know that might blow some people's minds because they're like, water fiends, you know, that is that is crimsons. That's how you get crimsons. But um, they're actually not the best XP in the game, water fiends, and neither is KBD. You might think uh, KBD drops a lot of crimsons. Four crimsons per kill, extremely high drop rate of crimsons. He is not the best summoning XP in the game either. Um, it'd be kind of, it's just kind of weird. I've discovered some things like certain tasks are really, really good melee XP, but kind of crap slayer XP that I never would have known before. So now I know that. I know um, there is a spreadsheet floating around on the web already that gives the exact Slayer XP uh, for every task, but um, the one I'm making is trying to figure out like the melee XP and the summoning XP and all that fun stuff as well. So anyway, I'm just going to finish up this King Black Dragon task uh, and then get a new one, and we'll see how that goes. So anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I hope, Hopefully you learned a little something on how to do Slayer tasks at the KBD. Uh, that was part of the point of this video. But anyway, I will be back tomorrow with possibly a Road to Completionist Cape, possibly something else. It really just depends on how things go. Um, but I do have a couple videos planned, and one is made already, but I just chose to upload this one instead. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.